everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. Um, it's going to be a full body workout because I am also going to be doing a run later. So the first exercise I'm doing today is an oblique push up. So I'm going to start out um, with my hands and feet on the floor and I'm going to jump my feet out to my left first. So after I jump them out to the left, I'm going to lift my right leg and put it underneath bringing my hips so that it's close to the floor and my fingertips can actually face inward just slightly but in this position you should already feel your right oblique really working really tight and firm right now so what you're going to do is a push up that's one come back to your side plank position jump your feet in and we're going to do the other side so fingertips point in just slightly jump your feet out to the right left foot goes under, that hip goes down toward the floor, push up, that's two. Three. Four. I can really feel my obliques. Five. Here's hiding me. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Oh, these are tough. Nine. Ten. Halfway done. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Two more. Nineteen. There you go, babe. Twenty. Ha cha cha. Yay. Those are tougher than they look. <laughs> Next, I'm doing a leg series. So for this one, you get to lay down. Yay. <laughs> oh, hair clip. Um. So you get to lay down on your back. Heels are going to press into the floor. Both hands can lay down next to your body, but you're just using them as support. You're not pushing through them or anything. Lift both of your hips. <laughs> you have to lift them together. And we're going to do the right leg first. So one, two, and you're going to do ten of each movement for this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now you're going to go up, drop it. One, two, so this is the second movement of the leg series. Four, five, six, weight is in your heel, you can lift your toes. Eight, nine, ten. Now you combine it for the last movement. Up and drop, that's one. Down, up, drop, that's two. Three, you should really feel your glutes and your hamstrings. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, other side, same thing. Hips lift. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, make sure you breathe, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it drops. One, press that heel toward the ceiling. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, lift. Last one, ten. Okay, next exercise. Leg and hip lift. Okay, so this is abs, so you get to stay on your back. Your shoulder blades are going to stay lifted. Um, arms reach, but shoulders stay relaxed, so they don't reach up into your arms, or into your ears, rather. Legs that extend, lift, lift your hips. So that's one. Two. Three. Make sure your movement's controlled. You don't want to be using a lot of momentum. Five. You want to be using all the bits of your abs. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Three more. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. You're so cute. Twenty. Ooh. Okay, next exercise. Oh, that stretch alone would have broke me. <laughs> Bow press with heel tap. Okay, so for this one, you get to roll over onto your belly. Yay! Yay! You're going to lift your feet so that your butt engages. Lift your chest, chest and then you're going to keep your palms facing upward and reaching down toward your knees or toward your feet. So this pose alone, you should feel all of this engage. And if this is challenging enough for you, you could stay right here and hold it. Otherwise, you're gonna add heel taps. I'm gonna go for 50 taps. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 20. 30. 40, 50, 50. yay, <laughs> and make sure you give it one last lift, relax, Ooh. <laughs> next exercise, the next exercise is oblique V up, starting on one side then the other, okay, so I'm going to start laying on my left side, I'm going to stretch my left arm out from my shoulder, right arm can reach behind my head, I'm going to Crunch my elbow toward my knees. All of this immediately engages. Ooh. Drop it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not using this arm for anything but support. It's not pushing. Ten, eleven, twelve. Try and keep this movement up and down. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Now what I mean by up and down is you want to stay laying on your side as much as possible so that you're moving in the same plane like you were put in between two pieces of glass or a wall on either side of you. You don't want to turn over too much and do this. You'll still feel great engagement, but it's just working a little differently than what I'm aiming for today, which is only right here. Okay. 
same thing on the other side. So my right arm extends out from my body, straight from my shoulder, left arm goes behind my head, and I'm going to bring my elbow toward my knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Next exercise. Squat lift. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use a weight. You do not have to. You can do this body weight, or you can even use a kettlebell or a dumbbell. What you want to do is reach your butt backwards as far as you can, so your knees stay above your ankles, behind your toes. You can either touch the floor, or you can grab your weight, lift, and squeeze. That would be one. Bring it all the way back down. Keep your back straight and flat, even if you're touching the floor. Squeeze up through your glutes and lift. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my big weight. Which I just need to adjust a little bit. Okay. So, same exact thing. Butt reaches backwards. Make sure your knees are in the right plane and your back is straight. My hips are going to drop a little bit past parallel so that I can keep my back nice and straight and lift. That's one. Down. Two. I don't want to curve my back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, make sure you breathe. Eight. If you're using a weight, keep it close to your body. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, check that my back's straight, my butt's reaching backwards, is that 15? Mm -hmm. 16, form is always number one, 17, 18, 19, one more, back straight, squeeze from your glutes, last one. Okay, next exercise. Your next exercise is a forward fold leg lift. One leg, then the other. Okay. So for this exercise, first we're going to fold all the way forward just to stretch out our hamstrings. So stretch, push those knees backwards, wherever you can comfortably reach and feel a nice stretch in your legs. You don't ever want to bounce. You just want to slowly stretch downwards. Okay, now we're going to straighten out our backs. So I could touch the floor like this. If you can't, that's okay. You can even put your hands on a chair in front of you. And I'm going to start by lifting my right leg. So I'm going to stretch it out and lift. My hips are both facing the ground, too. So my hip is not opening to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna stretch down in between again. Feels so good. Flatten out my back and extend my left leg this time. So one, again, hips up and down. Two, your knees should be facing the ground. Three, four, core pulls in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. And again, stretch. <laughs> Are you ready for the last exercise? I'm ready. Plank hold. Okay, so for this one, you're going to go into a regular plank. You're going to hold it for as long as you can while keeping good form. Um, I had my interval timer, but I lost it. So, can you toss me that phone behind you? Oh, babe. Where'd that pesky interval timer go? It's okay. Just give me the phone. It has a stopwatch. I found it. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> so, let me reset this. And I'm just going to hold and see how long I can do it while feeling like I'm maintaining good form. Remember, you wore yourself out with this workout. So you want to have your minimum goal, your beginning be about 30 seconds, hopefully, and up to a minute 30 or even two minutes, okay? So, timer on, forearm position, ready, let's go. So for this pose, core is tight and engaged the whole time. Your body should form a nice straight line. My shoulders are a little tired, so I already feel them working. No lifting, no drooping. Only hold it for as long as you can keep your body in a straight line with your back and spine supported by your core. So your abs pulled in tight. Breathe the whole time. Guess what? We're at 30 seconds already. Keep breathing. And holding. Forty-five seconds. And something crazy. I was reading Guinness Book of World Records, and I forget the exact time, but someone held a plank position for over two hours. <laughs> so one minute is up. If you feel yourself struggling, that's okay. When I first started. I think 30 seconds felt brutal to me. So, you get stronger and it gets easier. You're at 115. One thirty. So I'm gonna go for 30 more seconds. I wanna get two minutes. My thighs are starting to burn a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit tired. That's okay, that means I'm working. Is my form still good? Yeah. Okay. Looks like you're working. 150. 2 minutes. Relax. <laughs> okay, guys. So, that's my workout for today. Check my blog for the breakdown, how many times to repeat it, how many miles I'm going to run today, um, all the information you need to complete this workout at your house, <laughs> BenderFitness.com. Plus, there's well over 200 free workout videos, healthy recipes, and tips for healthy living. So I hope to see you there. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.